So can you camp with no reservations? It might surprise you to know that there are tons of campgrounds across the USA that you can still camp at without having reservations. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to find them. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So before we dive into today's video, we really wanna say a huge thank you to all of you that have been jumping in and supporting us on Patreon. We really appreciate your support. It helps us to keep bringing videos like this to you. And we're gonna be starting some fun monthly giveaways for those of you that are supporting us on Patreon. So if you'd like to check it out, you can do that at gratefulglamper.com forward slash Patreon. And we'll put a link below as well. Now with more RVs on the road than there ever have been before, before, you might start wondering if it's even going to be possible to get out there and camp this summer if you haven't already made your reservations. And we've actually noticed for ourselves, all of our reservations for the rest of our summer are already booked. And a lot of those reservations we had to book about six months in advance to be able to get into some of those oh so coveted campgrounds. So that being said, can you still camp? on the fly and the answer is absolutely yes you can still find those last minute campgrounds those open spaces totally on the fly no reservations needed so you might be kind of wondering well where are these campgrounds then and what are you talking about that we can find these types of camp spots now the good news is a lot of these campgrounds are super cheap and some of them are even free. And what they are is a lot of them are city run campgrounds or county run campgrounds. We were just recently in the tiny, tiny town of Weeping Water, Nebraska. It's such a cool little spot, very historic. They have a city run campground where it has electric hookup in all the sites, all the sites are paved. There is not water or sewer in the sites themselves, but there's water and a dump station right there at the entrance and exit to the campground. And the best part is no reservations needed and you can't even make reservations. It's all on a first come first serve basis. We pulled in there on a weekend and there were five sites that were available at this particular campground. The best part is $15 a night to be able to stay there. And it was a beautiful campground right on the lake. So these gems are out there. You just have to do a little bit of digging and we're gonna talk about how to find them just a little bit later in the video. So another place to check and to look for campgrounds where you don't necessarily need the reservations huge in advance are the Army Corps of Engineer or COE campgrounds. These are another great option. They're kind of more of a no frills campground. A lot of them do have at least electric and then most of them have things like water and a dump station on site. And they're also very, very inexpensive and they're not as popular or well known. So it's usually a little bit easier to be able to get a site in these Corps of Engineer campgrounds. So another option are fairgrounds. Now, a lot of fairgrounds have camping and some fairgrounds even have full hookups. So a lot of people have livestock trailers and horse trailers that have the living quarters and they need camping for when they're at various shows and events. So a lot of fairgrounds will at least offer boondocking if nothing else, but many fairgrounds do have some sort of hookups. So looking at local fairgrounds is always a great place to check if you're in need of a spot to stay and you don't have any reservations. So another great place to check is with Harvest Hosts. Now, Harvest Hosts aren't going to really have any hookups at most of their locations, but it's a great spot where you can boondock for a day or two and be able to kind of set up camp. No reservations required. Just pull into that location and you can find all sorts of Harvest Host locations on their website. And we'll put a link below for that as well. So this is probably a good reason to talk about trip planning just for a minute. And so if you need some help in the trip planning department, you can check out the video at the link above and you can also download the free trip planning template. 
Now, this is a trip planning template that I've developed over the last four years of camping. I use the same template every single year that we're planning trips out. And you can find that at the link below or just go to gratefulglamper.com forward slash planner. Okay, so let's talk about how do you find some of these places to camp without reservations. One of the first places that I always start is actually on Google, but it's important that you know what to search for when you're using Google. One thing you can search for is camping near and then put in the city name. So for example, right now we happen to be in the Northern Colorado area. So I might search Google for camping near Fort Collins, Colorado, and see what comes up in the search results that way. Another great resource is to check that local area's parks and recreation website. This is where you can find a lot of the city-run campgrounds or the county-run campgrounds. So if you just search for the parks and recreation website, let's say in Omaha, Nebraska, then you can find what is in that area that's actually run by the city or the county when it comes to camping. Usually if you even search for something like parks and recreation, put in the city name and then add the word camping to the search, it usually brings you right to that page that talks about the camping that's available at the various parks that are in the area. Another great place to find these campgrounds are apps like Compendium, all stays or RV Parky. A lot of them will show what is available for camping in a specific area, including things like city run parks or county run parks. One other place to always check is recreation.gov or corpselakes.us. And we'll put links below for both of those as well. This is a great place to look for those Corps of Engineer parks to be able to find where those are at and if there are any in the area that you're considering camping in or that you find yourself traveling through. So you'll have to let us know in the comments below what has your experience been like so far this year with booking campsites or finding campsites on the fly? Have you been successful in snagging cancellations at campsites last minute? Let us know down below. We we would love to hear kind of what some of you out there in the RV community are experiencing right now when it comes to finding a spot to set up. A lot of them, hold on, sorry. I'm getting a bit. Sorry. You have a mosquito on you. Is that a mosquito? Yes. You're good. <laughs> Choking on my hair. This is worse than Florida. You're gonna step another big ant pile right there. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos with RV tips and tricks, you can check those out right over here. And if you would like to see more videos with places to travel and the fun things that you know you're gonna to wanna to see, you can check those out right over here. Until next time, we'll see you on the road.